Jan Koum is a Ukrainian-American entrepreneur and computer programmer, best known as the co-founder and former CEO of WhatsApp, a globally popular messaging application for smartphones. Born on February 24, 1976, in Kyiv, Ukraine, then part of the Soviet Union, Koum immigrated to the United States with his mother and grandmother at the age of 16, settling in Mountain View, California. Koum's early life in the U.S. was marked by financial hardship. He and his mother relied on welfare and food stamps, and he worked as a cleaner at a grocery store. Despite these challenges, Koum developed a keen interest in programming. He taught himself computer networking by purchasing manuals from a used bookstore and returning them after he'd read them. After attending San Jose State University and working at Ernst & Young as a security tester, Koum was hired by Yahoo as an infrastructure engineer, where he met Brian Acton. The two worked there for about nine years. Disillusioned by the dot-com bubble burst, they both left Yahoo in 2007 and took a year off, traveling around South America and playing Ultimate Frisbee. Both applied, and were rejected, for jobs at Facebook. In 2009, Coombe bought an iPhone and realized the potential of the then NASA app industry on the App Store. He envisioned a new type of messaging app that would show statuses next to individual names of the people. On his birthday, February 24, 2009, he incorporated WhatsApp Incorporated in California. The app's initial version was released later that year, and it quickly grew in popularity due to its simplicity, ease of use, and lack of advertising. WhatsApp's growth was phenomenal, reaching hundreds of millions of users in a few short years. This caught the attention of larger technology companies, and in February 2014, Facebook announced it was acquiring WhatsApp for $19 billion, its largest acquisition to date. This deal turned Coom into a billionaire. After the acquisition, Coom continued to run WhatsApp independently but also joined Facebook's board of directors. However, he left the company in April 2018 due to disagreements over data privacy and the direction of WhatsApp. Coom has been known for his commitment to privacy and his opposition to advertising. He famously had a note taped to his desk from Brian Acton that read no ads, no games, no gimmicks, to keep them focused on building a pure messaging experience. WhatsApp is a highly popular messaging application known for its comprehensive range of communication features. Founded in 2009 by Brian Acton and Jan Kuhn, former Yahoo employees, WhatsApp quickly rose to prominence due to its user-friendly interface, reliability, and initially free service. The application allows users to engage in text messaging, supporting a variety of multimedia formats such as images, videos, voice messages, and documents. This versatility has made it a preferred choice for personal and professional communication. One of the standout features of WhatsApp is its end-to-end -end encryption for all communications, ensuring that only the sender and receiver can access the content of messages and calls, thereby offering a high level of privacy and security. Voice and video calls are another significant aspect of WhatsApp, enabling users to make one-on-one -on -one or group calls over the internet. This feature is particularly appreciated for its minimal data usage and has reduced the reliance on traditional phone calls. The group chat functionality further enhances the app's utility, allowing multiple users to communicate in a single conversation thread. WhatsApp also includes a status feature, akin to the Stories feature on Instagram and Snapchat, where users can share text, photos, videos, and GIFs that disappear after 24 hours. This addition has added a social media element to the app, broadening its appeal. The acquisition of WhatsApp by Facebook in 2014 for approximately $19 billion was a significant event, marking one of the largest tech acquisitions at the time. This move was seen as a strategic effort by Facebook to strengthen its position in the mobile messaging domain. Despite its popularity, WhatsApp has faced its share of controversy, particularly regarding privacy and security. The app's commitment to end-to-end -to -end encryption, while lauded for protecting user privacy, has also been criticized by some governments and law enforcement agencies for potentially hindering the investigation and prevention of criminal activities. In terms of monetization, WhatsApp initially had a nominal annual subscription fee, which was later removed. Post-acquisition, the service explored various revenue models, including the introduction of the WhatsApp business app and API. These business-focused services enable companies to communicate with customers and provide customer service directly through the platform. Globally, WhatsApp has become one of the most popular messaging apps, especially in regions like Europe, Latin America, Africa, and Asia. Its ease of use, low data requirements, and free service have contributed significantly to its widespread adoption, making it an indispensable tool for both personal and business communication across the world. Jan Kuhn, as the co-founder of WhatsApp, 
demonstrated a management philosophy that was distinct and effective, characterized by several key principles that guided the growth and development of the messaging app. Central to Coombe's approach was a focus on simplicity and core functionality. He believed in keeping the app straightforward, resisting the temptation to add numerous features and instead perfecting its primary function, easy, reliable, and private messaging. This emphasis on doing one thing exceptionally well helped WhatsApp to carve out a unique space in a market crowded with feature-rich alternatives. A staunch advocate for user privacy, Coombe's background growing up in Soviet-era Ukraine, where surveillance was a part of everyday life, deeply influenced his perspective. This belief became a cornerstone of WhatsApp's philosophy, most notably exemplified by the implementation of end-to-end -end encryption. Coombe's commitment to privacy was not just a feature but a guiding principle that influenced many of the company's decisions, including its long-standing avoidance of advertising as a revenue model. He believed that ads would compromise the user experience and privacy, a stance that was in stark contrast to many other free services reliant on advertising for revenue. Coombe's management style also reflected a preference for long-term vision over short-term financial gains. This was evident in his decision to sell WhatsApp to Facebook. Despite the lucrative nature of the deal, he was keen on ensuring that WhatsApp continued to operate independently, maintaining its values and user experience. Under Coombe's leadership, WhatsApp operated with a relatively small team, especially when compared to its vast user base. This lean approach suggests a management style that favored employee autonomy and responsibility. By avoiding unnecessary expansion, Coombe ensured that the team remained agile and focused, a strategy that often leads to higher efficiency and innovation. Above all, Coombe's approach was deeply user-centric. Decisions at WhatsApp were consistently made with the user's experience and privacy in mind. This focus helped in building a loyal user base and differentiated WhatsApp in a competitive market. In summary, Jan Coombe's management philosophy at WhatsApp was marked by a commitment to simplicity, a focus on core functionality, a deep respect for user privacy, an avoidance of traditional advertising models, a long-term strategic vision, lean operations, and a strong user-centric approach. This philosophy not only shaped the culture at WhatsApp but also played a crucial role in its success as a global messaging platform.